Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming this morning. Uh, my name is Ray Bowyer, and I fly a civilian airliner as captain. I've been invited here due to my sighting last April of multiple as, as yet unidentified objects over the Channel Islands region of the English Channel. Uh, this encounter lasted for 15 minutes and the first object being visible from 55 miles distance. On nearing the object, a second identical shape appeared beyond the first. Both objects were of a flattened disc shape with a dark area to the right. They were brilliant yellow with light emanating from within and I estimated them to be up to possibly a mile across. I found myself astounded but curious but at 12 miles distant, these objects were becoming uncomfortably large, and I was glad to descend and land the aircraft. Many of my passengers saw the objects, as did the pilot of another aircraft 25 miles further south. There is also possible radar information still being investigated. A team headed by Dr. David Clark looking at this case will shortly be published. Uh, a report, uh, well, sorry, will we'll shortly publish a report, but I understand that this time, no definitive solution has been discovered to explain the sighting as yet. I've taken note of some of the differences between the uh, British and the US reporting system. It appears that attitudes on opposite sides of the Atlantic are very different when it comes to the required reporting and recording of this type of event. Air law stipulates quite clearly that if, if an operating crew of an aircraft see another aircraft in a place that it shouldn't be, then at the earliest opportunity, the whole scenario is to be reported to the relevant authorities. In my case, the British Civil, Avi Civil Aviation Authority knew within 20 minutes of the sighting what was seen as described in the flight log and faxed directly to the relevant CAA office. The military were informed by Jersey Air Traffic Control at the same time. This is not an option. This is an obligation that crews react in this manner. In my experience, having reported the incident as required, has had no negative effect, and there was no problem with me t uh, talking about this on British television. Indeed, my company, Orini Air Services, uh, have offered every support to date. The assistance of Jersey Air Traffic Control in releasing recorded information to myself and the investigated, investigating team has been of great benefit. I did not feel that I was in any danger of being ridiculed because all I did was report what actually happened, as was my duty as operating aircrew. I heard about the multiple witness sightings at Chicago O'Hare Airport uh, about a year ago now, on uh, November the 7th, uh, 2006. I was surprised to hear that how it was handled. Despite many pilots and airport personnel witnessing the object hovering over the terminal, there was no investigation at all by the, by the FAA. It appears that pressure may have been applied to crew members by their company not to discuss this incident. I would have been shocked if I was told that the CAA in UK would obstruct an investigation or if the CAA told me that what I had seen was something entirely different. But it seems that pilots in America are used to this sort of thing here. I would urge all fellow aircrew to report whatever they see as soon as possible and to stand up and be counted. It's only when crucial and critical witnesses such as aircrew make reports that the authorities will be kick-started into a broader investigation of this phenomena. Thank you very much.